Two homicides in two days in Mobile. The first Sunday night on Richmond Drive. The second hours later last night on Magnolia Road. Now Mobile County's District Attorney Ashley Rich says these murders could have been avoided. News 5's Dana Winter joins us live from Mobile Metro Jail where the men authorities say are behind the two deadly shootings are. Dana? Well, Devin, both William Browning and Jason Cooley are here in jail tonight facing murder charges. District Attorney Ashley Rich says there are resources to help before situations like these happen. Some people feel helpless and feel like there's nobody that can help them, but there are people that can help them. Mobile County District Attorney Ashley Rich spoke to News 5 about Mobile's most recent homicides. These murders did not have to happen. Rich says there is help out there for anyone who's a victim of domestic violence, but getting people to get help can be a struggle. But we cannot force people to take advantage of those services or make them take advantage of those services. And um, these both of these murders could have been avoided. Deputies say Frank Browning was shot and killed by his son on Sunday night. One day later, officers say Shea Pugh was shot multiple times Monday night. Her daughters identified the man arrested, Jason Cooley, as their mom's boyfriend of three years. She was our mom, our best friend, pretty much everything. Like she was our sister. She was all of that, all you could ever ask for in a mom. Rich says crisis intervention could have made a difference, and it starts with getting the community involved. The first and foremost, we just have to educate the community to make sure they understand that there is help available to them. They do not have to suffer and continue to suffer abuse until they're killed. Rich says both Penelope House and Lifeline's family counseling are always available for domestic violence victims. Cooley will wait in jail until his bond hearing, and so far, no date has been set. Reporting live tonight outside of Mobile Metro Jail, Dana Winter, WKRG News 5.